Hello everybody, welcome back to Nick Carroll Disc Golf. I have a little bit of a different in the bag video today. I own a total of 11 glow discs, discs that glow in the dark when you're playing uh, disc golf. And I put them all in this bag. And the reason I put them in this uh, lunchbox <laughs> uh, disc bag is because uh, it gets dark awful early nowadays here uh, in winter. And uh, I need to play disc golf from time to time at night. And so I'm here at Northside uh, Christian Church, uh, a course that offers uh, uh, disc golf at night, uh, glow rounds is what they call them, uh, on Friday night, thanks to Lucky Ace Discs and uh, Dead of Night Disc Golf. So thank you to both of those for putting effort into making that. And basically, uh, Sean and I go to these now. Uh, we don't record them because for obvious reasons, it's dark and <laughs> it makes for uh, terrible video quality. Um, but uh, it, we're starting to do them once a week and they're very fun. And uh, so what I did was I grabbed, I went through my entire stockpile of discs, found all the ones that glow, threw them in here, <laughs> and this is what we have. So just a you know, brief little tour of the bag before I show you the discs inside. It's just your standard Innova bag. Technically it's called the Innova standard bag, I think. But it's a great little bag. It's got a, you know, room here for things like a phone and other stuff like that that I put in here. Uh, but let's go ahead and start with uh, what I have in here. First of all, we've got a mini. This one is a MVP Nano. It's uh, obviously glows uh, with their Eclipse 2.0 plastic. And so that's what I use to mark my lie. Um, starting with the actual discs here, I've got my putting putter, which is a DX Glow AVR. As you know, currently AVRs are my putting putter. They've been my putting putter for about four years. And of course, when I uh, saw this, I basically had to grab it. So that's my putting putter. Also to use it for approaches anywhere within maybe about 100, 120 feet. I will throw that because it's very straight. I can actually drive off the tee with it. But considering that one in particular is one that I putt with, I leave uh, that to the other putters. So uh, let's go ahead and show you the other putters that I've got. So um, a relatively new addition to my bag and I like it a lot. This is a Lone Star Armadillo or Dillo often uh, it's called. This is a good approach disc because it's got a very blunt nose. Uh, so it's not aerodynamic. It's designed to not be aerodynamic so that when you throw it, it doesn't go as far and it doesn't skip as far. It's got a relatively uh, uh, thin rim here and um, you know that blunt profile it's very comfortable in the hand very much like these aviars here very comfortable easy to throw and i can throw it uh, forehand and backhand which is uh what you really need for an approach disc but it's nice and slow and the the glow plastic that lone star uses is very bright compared to this i, I would say is a lower standard of glow here with the uh DX uh, Glow Plastic, it is what it is, but the Glow Plastic uh, by Lone Star is really uh, about the, the top, uh, top of the heap in terms of uh, quality of Glow Plastic. The only uh, type of Glow Plastic that might arguably better be better is uh, the Eclipse 2.0 Plastic with MVP. Um, these are all the top tier plastics here in terms of, uh, you know, the Dillo and the Proxy here. This is an Axiom Proxy. And uh, this is a very straight throwing putter. I like to throw this. I will drive off the tee with it sometimes. Uh, I will use it for upshots, uh, particularly any, any that I need to go straight or if I need to put a little bit of turn on it, um, you know, let it um, coast with an Anheuser, you know, throw it with Anheuser, release angle, and then let it turn in flight. Uh, and, but this is very trustworthy in my opinion. Again, great for forehand and backhand. In fact, every disc I have here period is great for forehand or backhand, so I'll try not to more repeat myself here. But this uh, uh, proxy, I absolutely love it, and I will uh, keep using that. Uh, even more trustworthy from a technical standpoint is this Envy, also in the Eclipse 2.0 plastic. This is, again, uh, you know, pretty grippy, great for, you know, all the different types of throws that you want to do, but it's great for me because I can really let loose and it'll fight torque. Uh, even better than the proxy will. It's uh, straight, won't turn easily, and will fade towards the end, but it's a gradual fade. It's not a hard fade. I would almost say 3301, but this is your Eclipse plastic, and in my experience throwing it, this is, it's not beefy per se, but it's trusty. Let's just go with that. Great, great disc. 
When you want to go with beefy, now we're uh, with the Infinite Ruin. This is with a little alien stamp there. This is their, uh, you know, sea uh, blend glow plastic metal flake. And uh, this is also a very trustworthy disc. This is even more stable than this Envy. If I want to throw it with a lot of torque and have it fade pretty decently, that's what this is. I can also trust it more with my forehand because my forehand is not that good at this point in time. So I can throw it, it'll fight the accidental turn and then land close to the basket. It's also great for throwing a hyzer and having it curve around objects. So this uh, rune is, uh, I love it. I'm really glad that I have this disc. Those of you that know me know that pig is love, pig is life. Thank you, Robbie C. Um, I totally agree. This is arguably my favorite approach disc of all time, even though technically I would consider this a small diameter mid-range because of the thickness of the rim here. But this is, um, again, not the best glow plastic. It's actually pro glow, uh, but I would say it's not even as good as this DX glow just because of the color is blue and the way the, uh, the, the, the glow is, it's a little bit more of a greenish kind of tint and the two hues fight each other. But long story short, um, this um, very grippy, it's the pro plastic that's used here is very grippy. It's like XT on steroids, extra tough uh, plastic on steroids. steroids. And uh, it's of course great for all the release angles, but uh, I love this a lot. And I would say this Ruin is a tiny bit more stable uh, but this is better at fighting uh, the wind in terms of its aerodynamic properties. You can see that this is a just m more blunt of an edge thanks to the thumb track and the large rim. So if I want to, these are both overstable. If I want to make sure that this doesn't go as far, I'll throw this. Or if I want to make sure something curves around something, I will throw that. So that's kind of the differentiation there. But I consider this a small dam or mid-range, and I think uh, Innova is starting to do that now. And then into the official mid-range category, I've got a DX Glow Rock. This one throws very well. It's very straight and trustworthy. If I want to get more distance than any of these putters, even more than the proxy, uh, I will throw this uh, Glow uh, Rock. Uh, it's not beat in per se, but it's, it's very straight. It's not something that'll flip. This hasn't hit hardly any trees or anything like that. I've used it from time to time in certain challenges, certain videos. Uh, very few rounds, but particularly for glow rounds, I brought it out and put in this bag for this, and I absolutely love this disc. Um, feels good, and it's a rock. I mean, what do you expect? This is a, a rock, and it's exactly what you expect out of a rock, and that's why it's in the bag. Not just because it glows, but it's <laughs> also a rock, so it's trustworthy. If I had a glow disc that I didn't like, I wouldn't put it in here, but as it happens, I do a lot of research into what discs I buy, so and I like everything that I've bought here. So, another MVP disc, this one is a reactor. This is the Elaine King Signature Edition, Eclipse 2.0 Plastic, and again, very trustworthy mid. This actually, I can throw a little bit farther than the rock, and it's a little bit more trustworthy. It's 5.505, you know, 0.5, 1.5, but I would say this is uh, more of a, more, it's, it's a little bit more of a distance mid-range for me. I can get almost as much distance as a fairway driver. Whereas the rock, I can't quite, quite get as much distance. So that's kind of why I have them both in here because this is just, I can put a tiny little bit more on it, get a little bit more distance, and uh, the glow is even better. So uh, I will use that in those cases. And so you can see mostly what I have are putters and approach discs, and then uh, two to three mid-ranges, depending upon if you want to call the pig a small diameter mid-range or not. But I've only got three drivers. That's because I only have three glow discs. I did have a fourth glow disc, but I accidentally lost that at River Point Church uh, a year ago, a year and change ago. So the first uh, glow uh, fairway driver that I've got is a Champion Leopard 3. Um, to me, I consider this very trustworthy. I know a lot of people with uh, bigger arms basically consider this a more flippy kind of disc. In this plastic, as well maintained as I've been able to keep this, uh, you know, haven't thrown it a lot. Um, and of course, it's a leopard or a flatter leopard. I absolutely love this disc and by default, I will throw this on this course. And uh, uh, this is my primary, dr primary driver at this point. The next driver that I have is, an, is a Glow Thunderbird. Uh, I bought all of these. Uh, this one, Zach, my friend, uh, gave this to me. This is a Glow Thunderbird. Again, same type of Champion Glow plastic as this Leopard, but it's you know a, a bigger, bigger rim, more stable. And um, 
I do need to get something in between these two in terms of stability. I'd love to see like a TL in a Champion plastic or a Hawkeye or, or something like that in a, in a Ferrari plastic, in a uh, Glow uh, plastic. But for now, I've got these two in terms of uh, uh, the fairway drivers I use and if I want to guarantee that I don't turn over accidentally or, or I want to ensure that it, a certain type of a uh, flight, path, flight path, even if I throw it dead flat, it'll fly straight, won't accidentally turn with, with my level of power and it'll go reliably. I've used this a fair number of times. Th this is the second most fair, fairway driver that I'll use out of this uh, set. This Firebird here, this is a Nate Sexton Firebird from I think 2018, I don't remember the year exactly. This is another foundling that my friend uh, Zach gave me. And uh, very trustworthy. Uh, I've not used it uh, that much, same thing with the Thunderbird. So it's basically kept all of its stability. Even though it's not the most stable run the Firebirds out there, it is stable. And it is, for me, noticeably more beefy than this Thunderbird. But for that next step up, so if you look at like stability, you've got these three in terms of flat, to, I would say just dead straight stable, stable with significant fade, uh, and then very significant fade, very overstable. These are the three fairway drivers that I use. In the future, I'm gonna buy a couple discs that fit in the slots in between these two, um, but for now, these are the fairway drivers that I use. And then of course, you know, I've got the this here, the mini, got my drink here, and of course, uh, the putter goes here and here, you know, not a big deal, but you know, a, a rag, and a, uh, this is my LED flashlight that I'll use. Uh, in the future, uh, I will be getting a Halo. A Halo is a little uh, kind of device that you put in your bag and you got a little key fob, you press the key fob and the whole, it's like a little mini disc and the whole, it's a mini disc that's an LED. It'll light for two, three seconds and then it'll completely make visible whatever glow dish you're use, gonna use. That's gonna be in my bag um, post Christmas. But anyways, that's basically what I wanted to show you. This is what I uh, spend some of my time with playing disc golf when I do play disc golf off camera. And it's for glow rounds here at Northside Church or at other places in the future. But for now, it's currently here. Anyways, I want to uh, thank you all uh, for watching. I hope you liked the video. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already as I have a more unique disc golf content on the way. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.